everybody. I am going to be doing a comparison video on the Lindy's Magical Shakers and the Ken Oliver Color Burst powders. I was really interested to see uh, how they compare to each other, if they react the same to water, and you know, all those different types of things. So this is going to be pretty quick. It's not going to be too in-depth. If you do want a more in-depth video, I will happily do that. Just leave a comment down below. I'm just going to talk very briefly on my impressions on both powders. So I personally don't care for the powders, either one of them, that much. They are very messy and the powder gets everywhere and is very hard to clean up. If I were to choose one, I would choose the Ken Oliver Color Burst for a few reasons. Uh, the main reason is because there is no mica in the ones that I have bought. I don't really care for, you know, the glimmer and shimmer and all that kind of stuff on the majority of my projects. So I like the matte finish of the powders. And then also I like the design of the bottle a little bit better and the powder is a little more fine. So it reacts a little bit better to the water. Also there is a lot more colors to choose from with the Ken Oliver Color Burst uh, powders. So those are just the reasons uh, why I would choose the Ken Oliver Color Burst. But like I said, I probably won't be using these too much on my projects, but they are good to have in my stash because they are very pigmented. So I added some water to some color, or I'm sorry, some watercolor paper. And then the first one I uh, sprinkled on was the Magical Shaker, and that's a Lindy's one. And then I added the Ken Oliver Color Burst powder. And the Color Burst powder, like I said, is a little bit more fine powder than the Magicals. Uh, I think it's because the Magicals have the, the shimmer in it, uh, the mica powder in it, so I think it just makes it a little bit thicker. Um, but either way, they're both pretty pigmented. But if I were to ch have to choose one, I would choose the Ken Oliver Color Burst because there's no mica in it, it's not shimmery, and I like that a lot better. So I'm just going to play around with some light paste. You can also use uh, modeling paste. I just wanted to see how the Magical Shaker Powder was going to react. So this is the first time I'm using these. I just add a few little taps of the powder into the paste and uh, then also the Color Burst. So I added the right is the Magicals and then the left is the Color Burst. And you could see that the Color Burst Powder instantly reacts to the moisture in the paste and I really like that and it takes a little bit more for the magicals to kind of, to mix in with the paste and that's okay it's not a bad thing it's still very pigmented I'm just taking a stencil and this is on the watercolor paper and I just wanted to see how it would spread out the magicals powder mixed in pretty well with the paste so I'm guessing it would do really well with gloss gel or any other type of medium you wanted to mix it with. So you can see here, very nice. Now I am going to mix the Color Burst Powder in with the light paste. And this one mixes very well too. And I was going to say too that with the Magicals powder and the light paste. There is a little bit of shimmer still in it So if you like that a uh, little bit of shimmer Then the magicals might be the way to go. I know some of you have been wondering which ones to get so just kind of trying to point out the differences and Again, it spreads out very nicely really nice color here both of them are beautiful colors, I think I wanted to see how the powders would react when I added it, uh, how I would normally add powder or any kind of spray. So I am adding a layer of light paste and I let it dry and then I'm just sprinkling on some of the magical powder and then I spray it and I want to see how it gets in all of those nooks and crevices and how it flows around the paste so you can see it does really well. And I think this was the main test I wanted to do <laughs> just because this is probably how I would use it most of the time. And I wanted to see how well it would do on top of the paste as well. So I would use it that way too. So I took the Magicals powder first 
and then this is the color burst and you can see again it just reacts so nicely to that uh, water on that paper and it just I don't know what was wrong with it but it just wasn't coming out and then I realized yes it was <laughs> it's very hard to see it's very very fine powder the color burst is and I really like how it reacted so I'm just going to do a very fast watercolor I wanted to see the differences and so this is some watercolor paper and I add a little bit of water to the petal that I'm that I'm going to color and then I will take some of the magicals I think I do first and I'm going to spread it onto that petal and I just wanted to see how it would watercolor since I've been loving um, watercoloring lately even though you know I still have a long way to go but it's fun for me and now I'm going to use a color burst powder and again I add a little bit of water to the petal this way the powder will react um, and then you could see there it just spreads really nicely and the water does a lot of the work for you when you're doing watercoloring I'm still learning so much and I watch so many videos on watercoloring and I'm just so intrigued by the whole process I know I didn't give a whole lot of tips and tricks in this video it was just very short and sweet and I'm just kind of showing you an overview and you can see on the left the magical powder had all of those other different colors to make that one color so they didn't really mix well and that happens with the color burst as well and then this is the one that I just sprayed and sprinkled the uh, powder on and then sprayed with the water and that is going to complete this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends it really helps me out and I hope that you leave a comment down below I love reading your comments and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later bye